going to be um, enlarging this picture here into on this piece of drawing paper. And the way this is done is by making a grid and copying just one square at a time and enlarging it as you go. So you really have to look at the proportions about what's in each little box here. Um, and so sometimes it can look a little strange um, if you're just looking at one box by itself, it could be very abstract. Um, but then when you step back, it's all put together kind of like a puzzle. So I've already done about half of this portrait here. And I've got these papers that I've put on here so that I can see just one square at a time. And um, as I finish each piece, I just um, make an X. So right now we're in this row here, and that piece is blank. So I'm going to cross that off. I'm going to just move this over to the right. That one is also blank. So I'll move this now to the right. And you can really, you could start from the top, or you could go anywhere. The third one is also blank. The fourth is blank. The fifth is blank. And now we're getting just the top of her shoulder and a little bit of her face. So it's, I'm going to just double check because check I lost count. One, two, three, four, five of them were blank. And then I'm going to just focus on this one here. So one, two, three, four, five. And I can see that this part comes up and it really connects like a little bit less than halfway down. And then this just this little corner right here. So I'm going to put an X here. And then I'm going to go over to this one. Now this is a little bit more complicated. And like I said, very abstract. But what I want to do is just kind of think about where this intersects. Because this is almost in the corner. And this is about one third of the way up. So I can just plot that from here. And then I know that this, these two, are parallel. And draw that line. All right, now I put an X here, and I can move to the next one. So this one kind of has this little bulge in the line. And then just a little bit in the corner. So not quite halfway over, just a little bit to the left of halfway up, and then this connects here. Oh, I forgot to put the X there. And this last one, it's like a line that has a little bit of a break, it curves. Last one. And then the last square in that row is blank. So now I've finished that. And you can compare the two, and they look like they're very accurate.